and they, Patty and I, just went for a relaxing, peaceful swim. Just the simple things like this is what we treasure. He's probably actually 11 years old now, so he doesn't have the energy as he used to be. But right now, but after all the playing we did together, he's very exhausted right now, so we're just taking a break, a breather. Well, we might be good heading home soon. Well, I want to play more, but. And probably, I probably want to play more too, but I gotta consider his health. He saved my life in the water today, going swinging, even though I could touch the ground like about 20 times. <laughs> Sandy feet. My Riley. He's such a good boy. He's my world. He means the world to me. He's my best. One and only friend. <laughs> I don't have many friends. You don't have many friends. Very few. I only need a few. And, but, I have a million, billion dog friends. And not, not just dog friends, other non-human-owned friends as well. Way more than I do humans. I only have a few human friends and billions of animal friends. I'm really proud of it. I made friends through Star Academy, Redwood High School, high school, the school, Activism, travels. A lot of them have moved out or moved on, moved away. I'm okay with that. So right now it's just right to me. It's dead together like glue. I'll treasure this day for as long as I live our time together. He still has a good couple more years left, I used to say. He's not a real fan, he's a labyrinth at all. I know more than anyone, including damn experts. <laughs> we know each other. We're best of friends. We mean the world to each other. This is a story of Riley and me. I feel it's at the climax and we'll face it. But I'll enjoy whatever little time we have left together. Stay safe during this pandemic. Later, guys.